and this symbol is only used in American English okay and it shows that the letter T in American English sometimes sounds like a letter D so Americans in British English we pronounce this butter but some Americans pronounce it butter okay so this is just for American English. Okay, we will now start. The sounds, the IPA symbols and sounds, the long vowels. So here is going to be the symbol and on the right there are the example words where you hear the sound. And I show you the sound, the part of the word in red e tree green u shoe food r arm car Door, door, four, er, uh, girl, prefer, and we add to this symbol, sometimes we see this, a little letter R. Well, the R, the little R, is not an official IPA sound, but it means that we pronounce the final letter R sound only if the next word starts with a vowel. And this is only in British English. Example, the word prefer. This is the IPA transcription. So we have the er sound at the end. And the little r means we only pronounce the r at the end of prefer if the next word starts with a vowel. So if we say this, um, since the word since the next word starts with a vowel, then we must pronounce this letter R. So listen, we say, I prefer apples. I prefer apples. But if the next word starts with a consonant, like here, then we do not pronounce the R. We simply say, I prefer pears. Okay. Now, short vowels. I, sit, fish. O, pull, good. A, mug, duck. Oh, hot, stop. Uh, amount, cinema. Eh, red, dead. And in some dictionaries, um, this symbol is like this. It's a slightly different sound but some dictionaries use this symbol. A, cat, fat. And this one is, this is an American English sound. This sound is er, mother. 
This one is also an American English sound. And this one is er. For example, girl. Okay, so those are the short vowels. Diphthongs. A diphthong is the sound of two vowels in one syllable. Ear. Ear. Beer. Ur, pure, tourist. I, my, five. Oi, boy, choice. O, go, joke. Air, there, chair, and in some dictionaries, it is this symbol. Ow, now, lounge, a, they, say. And in American English, they have another sound for O, nose. So that is only American English. And again, the same rule, the little R, here, here, and here, for these three sounds, again, we only pronounce the final R sound if the next word starts with a vowel. And this is only in British English. In American English, they always pronounce the final R sound. OK, let's now look at consonants, voiceless and voiced pairs. So these sounds are in pairs. The sounds for each pair, example P and B, they are produced in the same place in the mouth and the tongue is always in the same position. So the position of the tongue for the letter P and B is the same. The only difference is that the sound of the voiceless consonant, example P, comes only from the mouth. Okay, it only comes from the sound of air leaving the mouth. And in the voiced consonants, example, the letter B, the sound also comes from the voice, from the vocal cords in the throat. So if you want to prove this to yourself, then you can say the letter P, if you put a finger on your throat, 